What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Doing something a little different here today. I'm working out with you guys. You're gonna be able to follow this along. It's a home chest workout. You're only gonna need a single chair and that's it, just a little bit of space. Now I know I'm putting this video out in the summertime. This is when a lot of people will actually travel and they look for things they can do as a modification. They may not have access to a gym or they want something that's fast. This is gonna take just 10 minutes. Now all we're gonna do is choose five exercises. We're gonna perform them in a, like a reverse Tabata format. In other words, 10 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, but we're gonna keep it coming. There are no additional rest periods built in. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually structure this so that no matter whether you're at an advanced level or at more of a beginner level, you're gonna have exercises that are doable for you that are gonna allow you to go the whole 10 minutes. I'm gonna do the intermediate version of this with you because I feel like that's the majority of people are gonna be able to follow along. Okay, it's gonna be challenging but the exercises are gonna get progressively easier as we go to accommodate for the fatigue that builds in. And you'll see the differences whether we change the position of our body in space or that the exercise becomes less explosive. The fact is they're gonna be getting a little bit easier just to make sure we can keep going for the whole time. You never wanna give in in any of these 10 second periods. You gotta keep going and make it through the each 10 second period so you earn your rest, all right? So I'm gonna get going guys. I'm gonna show you the modifications at the end that you can do to make this a little bit harder and to actually make this capable of being progressively overloaded. So I got my timer set up over here, 10 seconds on, it's gonna beep. We get our 20 seconds and we get going right again. Each one of these exercises we do for four rounds, which is two minutes total, five exercises, two minutes a piece is 10 minutes. All right, I'm gonna put this on. The first exercise up is the plyo release push-up. Come down, up, down, up, hands up. Just a little, that's it. Down, now we rest our 20 seconds. We got 10 seconds more. So we go down, a quick release of the hands, and then explode again. Back in position, so you're ready to go. Down, release, plyo. Rest. Again, these rest periods will come a lot faster than you want them to with each uh, progressive round. Two more of those. That's our first minute through. Remember, four times through each exercise. Get back in position so you're ready to go. Down, release, plyo. Rest. Again, I already have my heart rate up. I'm breathing a little heavier. But we'll get a little bit of a break, knowing that the next exercise will be slightly easier. That cumulative fatigue is gonna kill us, though. Now. Good, now, the next exercise is going to be our prowler push-up. All right, so not as explosive. We're not gonna be leaving the ground, but we're gonna be loading heavily the front side here, the shoulders, as well as the chest. So we get back onto our toes like this. We're gonna sneak forward and push up. Bring a leg up with you. Two, three, four, five, rest. So again, as we bring our body weight forward, we're more heavily taxing the shoulders, the front delts, incorporating, of course, into the chest. See how fast that comes? Get yourself in position, up on your toes, sit back, creep forward, bring a knee up. And again, it's not the total repetitions, it's just the overall cumulative, uh, cumulative workload that we do and how fast it keeps coming. Back in position again. All right, ready? Here we go. One more or four times through each exercise. 
I like to do this, again, when I'm not around any equipment, I want to get a fast workout in. It's just something quick and easy. Back in position. Okay, next, we go to our decline push-up. So now, the decline is gonna be more difficult than an incline push-up would be. So we just put our feet up on top of a chair, like this, and we're gonna do a regular push-up, angling our body downwards. The decline positioning actually works more of your upper chest, which is why it's more difficult. Because the angle of your arms in relation to your body is up here, similar to what it would be if you were in an incline bench press. Or you can see, in relation to my body, my arms are elevated higher. Two more. Starting to get to me, guys. These little 20 second breaks are a godsend, though. All right, get yourself in position so you're ready to go. One more. Stop laughing, Jesse. <laughs> You're next. Yeah, good luck. All right, get in position. One more. Next, lateral push-ups. So I'm almost done with these. I got my last couple here. Lateral push-ups. We come down, we take a step to the right, push up, take a step to the left. Get your hands in a little closer to start on this one, here. Step out, push, out, and push, out, push, out, push, out, push, out. Normally, that would not be so challenging, but at this point, it's getting pretty damn hard. The key, as I've said now multiple times, get yourself in position so you're not cheating even a single second of that 10 second interval. Hands in position, ready to go. Out, 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 out. Is that two more, Jesse? I'm getting delirious. Yeah, that's two. Okay. Starting to lose oxygen flow to the brain. <laughs> Just Not kidding. Out of the woods yet. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, in position. Close grip. Step out. Step out. 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 One more of these, and we got one more exercise. Guys, okay, so just see how quick and easy it is to be able to do this. All right, in position, one more. Hands close, step, 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 step. Okay, now, Last one for me, last two minutes, shoulder tap push-ups, all right? I'm gonna go down, come up, tap my shoulder down, tap my shoulder. I'm gonna give you guys, again, modifications here that you can do to make this whole workout easier or harder depending upon where you're at. Down, tap, down, tap. Three more. So it's essentially a regular push-up. Little bit of prolonged three-point stance here with one arm and two feet. 
That makes it a little bit more difficult. Again, earlier on, this would have been a cakewalk. Now, it's challenging. All right. Down. That was, felt like the longest 10 seconds so far of all of them. You think, is this thing working, Jesse? I made a few modifications. Yeah, all right, I hope, I hope not. At the time, I can't handle them the most. All right, back in position again. Last two rounds. Down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap. Whew. One more. Hang in there, guys. Last one. And obviously, I don't just feel it in my chest, guys. I obviously feel it in my arms, my shoulders. It's an upper body push routine, really, given the fact that it's just all push ups. All right, last one. Down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down. Make them your best. Ah, ah, ah. And that's it. Simple. Is this thing done? Shut it up. Okay. So guys, there's no excuses. You can do this pretty easily, pretty quickly. Where do you go from here? So let's say you want to do this exact routine, but you wanted to ensure yourself that you're overloading from consecutive times that you do this. The easiest thing to do is to actually just change your work and rest period. Go to 15-15. If you're a masochist, you can go to 20 working seconds and just 10 resting seconds. Where can you go otherwise though? Let's say this is too difficult. Well, you can start here instead. You can see how this workout is broken down. We have all 10 exercises. Where you start determines how difficult this is. I did, as you can see here, three through seven. I did the more intermediate version. If you wanted to make this more difficult, you start back up here at level one, which is the Hannibal push-up. And then after you do that in your Tabata timing, you go and do this Archer push-up. So that would be your first and second exercise to be followed by, as you see, the plyo release, the prowlers, and the decline push-ups. If you want to make this easier, you start a little bit easier by doing this lateral push-up, the one that I used. That would be your starting point. And then you work yourself down through the shoulder taps, and now add a few more exercises. Do a regular push-up like this. And to make this still easier, change the angle of your body instead of being in a decline, an incline like this, and of course, we can make this easier to finish this off and make sure you can still do your, your 10 seconds of work, you just do a knee push-up. And again, don't feel bashful about it at this point in the workout, especially for a beginner. This is going to be very, very challenging. Manipulate your work rest periods as needed, and there's no stopping yourself from starting at more of a beginner level and working your way up through the intermediate and advanced. The idea is, guys, it's a quick, simple exercise and workout plan that you could do right here at home with nothing but a chair, and I promise you, you're going to get good results, guys. If you're looking for a complete home training program where we use no equipment at all, it's actually called our Zero Program. It's over at athenx.com. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. If you like when I take the torture with you, let me know. Maybe I'll do it a little bit more often. Or, better yet, Jesse. No. No, maybe, no, no, no. Maybe Jesse will get in here and do it as well. All right, guys. Let me know if you prefer that. I would. I'll see you guys back here again in just a few days. Remember, click subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't done so, so you never miss a video when we put it out. See ya.